हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ माय चैनल आई एम किशोर लॉय होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल सो एज एज यू केम टू नो फ्रॉम दिस थंबनेल दैट इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट शॉर्ट नोट्स सो मेनी ऑफ यू हैव आस्क्ड मी दिस क्वेश्चन दैट हाउ टू प्रिपेयर शॉर्ट नोट्स एंड प्लीज मेक अ वीडियो रिगार्डिंग दैट एज आई ऑलरेडी सजेस्टेड यू दैट व्हेन एवर यू हैव टू रिवाइज समथिंग यू नीड अ शॉर्ट नोट्स एंड दैट्स वाई व्हेन एवर यू आर स्टडिंग एनी सब्जेक्ट यू शुड प्रिपेयर योर शॉर्ट नोट्स सो दैट यू नो व्हेन एवर यू विल बी रिवाइजिंग दैट पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक और सब्जेक्ट you don't go back and read the you know read the subject or textbook or your main note you can revise from from the short notes short notes only and that will be helpful that will be time you know time saving because in this time like this december january when you are giving too many mock tests you are preparing previous year questions you don't have much time to revise everything from the book or from the from your main main notes so this for this this purpose you should have to prepare a short note so that you can you can go back quickly and see the main topics and come back and uh, focus on the previous year questions or mock tests so in this video i'm going to discuss about that and specifically i am going to share few of the topics uh, short notes of few of the topics that i have prepared during my gate preparation and i'll be giving a live demo of that one so hopefully that will give you a flavor that how to make short notes and what are the points you should include in the short notes and what you shouldn't include in the short notes so in this video i'm going to share uh, my short notes so please do watch the video till end and before starting this video so if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly now without further ado let's get started with today's video now before going into demo i will give you a brief overview of how you should prepare short notes and what are the things you keep in mind when you are, you will be preparing a short note for a particular topic now as i said that purpose of short note is just to revise the topic as quick as possible so what you should do is that you should only keep the points that are very important uh in your short notes not everything like uh, you know is there any important formula or is there any important point that you you should keep in mind or you you need to revise when you are really revising only those points you keep in the short notes and please keep in mind that the short note has to be within 3 or 4 pages not more than that minimum one page or maximum there will be four pages that your short note will be because don't don't make a short notes of 15 or 20 pages then it will be equivalent to your textbook so these are the things uh, you have to keep in mind so that you know uh, prepare a short note so that it's it's easy to you know revise and it's it's very not that time consuming you know you can quickly revise it and uh, and you know understand the subject easily and then go back to your mock test or previous question that you have prepared now let's get into a demo uh, so i'll be i'll be giving the demo of my short notes in two topics so first one is for general for everyone that is probability and distribution so that short notes i'll be i'll be demonstrating first and the next will be for the computer science students so i'll be demonstrating graph algorithms different graph algorithm graph traversal short test for algorithm so i have prepared how i have prepared short notes for graph algorithm that i'll be demonstrating next so hope this will be helpful for all the students across all the branches so that's why i have chosen these two topics one is for computer science students and one is for generic for all the all the students okay so as i was saying the first i'll be demonstrating on mathematics that is probability and distribution and how was my short note so this is uh, the kind of short notes i prepared so first i have written down basic definition of probability then there are some rules like what is the this additive rules then if they are mutually exclusive how it will be then i have written about condition of probability so all of these formulas i have written initially if the if two two events are independent then what will happen so this kind of basic information that is important that just be written in initially and then i have written base formula because this is a base theorem this is very important for gate syllabus so i have written about uh, this so this is all about my basic probability that i need to need to remember so i have written all the formulas here in this first half of the page next i have started writing about random variables so i have written uh the definition of random variable then first it is like mass functions like discrete random variables i have written and then the continuous random variable different properties i have written and again there are a lot of lot of formulas simple formulas but i think this is only sufficient when you are revising then cdf cumulative uh, distribution function that i have written both discrete continuous then i have come to the expectation of random variable i think this is also very important for gate syllabus so the both the formulas for pmf and pdf i have written here so this is all the first page second page there are different properties of uh, expectation written sorry for the blurness so when i was taking the scan it is the blur 
So I've written about uh, different properties of you know expectations here. Then I have come to variance, uh, variance of random variable, different properties related to variance that I have written here because expectation variance is very important for gate syllabus. So I have written in detail about this, though I am making the short notes, but I have written a bit bit detail about it here so that you know I can I can cover all the important topics here and different properties of variance are written here. Then I have come to different uh, distributions. So first I have written binomial distribution, its formula and uh, mean variance standard deviation I've written similarly for poison distribution also i've written this uh, you know this uh, pmf form and uh, its mean variance standard deviation i've written and there is a link between binomial and poison that i've written here that if lambda n, n tends to infinity p tends to zero then lambda is equal to np that i've written here and few you know few small tricks like for poison distribution mean is equal to variance that i have written here so this kind of things i is to add you know after you know i first i make the basic things and then i keep on adding these small small notes uh, side by side then i have come to uniform distribution this is a continuous distribution again the similar way i have written i have drawn the this pdf written the pdf in formula expectation variance i have written then exponential distribution also I have written here you can see that here I have written mean is equal to standard deviation. So these are small things I have written and this is how so this is second phase and third phase is all about normal distribution. So I was not that uh, good when I was preparing for my gate syllabus. So normal distribution I have written a bit bit detail. So maybe first time first I have written this normal distribution form then standard normal distribution then there are this uh, CDFs and yeah median mode uh, yeah so this is about median mode and uh, this mean and for symmetric distribution how it is and all so this this was all about my short notes for probability and uh, probability and distribution so first i have written about probability then i have gone to random variables then expectation variance and then different examples of random variables so i think you can understand now that you know this whole two chapters of any standard books i have made the short notes in three pages so this is how you have to do you have to only write the important topics that is there not everything so that you cover everything and this is this three pages i think it will take hardly 30 minutes to revise and it will be really helpful for all the students to revise quickly no need to go go to the book and you know read those two chapters you can just you know quickly re revise all the things and then and go for your next mock test or whatever you are doing. Next is uh, for CSE students. So I will be demonstrating uh, this gra graph algorithm that comes under data structure algorithm part. So first, as you know, this is the this is the short note that I am showing you. So first, I have written a brief introduction about graph, directed graph, undirected graph, then the sparse graph, dense graph. You know what are the definitions and all. So that is the first initial introduction part of the my short note. Then I have written about two of the representations that is adjacency list representation, adjacency matrix representation and I have written a brief about it and uh, a bit detail about that what will be the memory read needed for both of the cases, what are their advantages, disadvantages so that I have written in this part. So that is it about this. Now, now I have gone to uh, traversal of graph. So first I have, I have, talk, I have written about um, BFS or breadth first search. So as you can see, I have written here that it uses Q, it is a grid technique and I have written, I written a diagram, I have written two, three lines about it and that it consider list representation. So this is all about BFS and then yeah, no, this then then I have written here that uh, what is this time, time complexity and how it works. So a brief about it I have written and then I have written about the applications, different applications that, that it uses. And also I have written one thing that if the graph is un unweighted, if you use BFS, then, then you will get the single source, uh, source sorted part. So this kind of small, small points uh, that are very, very important uh, to remember. So these things I have mentioned here and also I have written that Prince and Discal, uh, Discal algorithm is almost similar to what BFS does. So as you see that I have not see, I have not written the actual algorithm that I have written here that how if it, it is working, then you have to go to the algorithm and see. But I have just mentioned it that you know these three algorithms are quite similar to each other. 
so that is the one thing if you can just remember then you can link between these three algorithms so this is the purpose of the short notes that you will have only the important notes important uh, you know points i mentioned will, will be in your in your short note then i have written about dfs that is uh, depth first search again i have written here this is uh, using stack it use backtracking and i have drawn the picture here and a brief about the overall procedure how it how it happens and different timestamps that it uses uh, and uh, time analysis that i've written and also there are different kind of edges uh, that that can present in dfs so like tree edge back edge forward edge and process that also i've written and finally application of different uh, dfs so this is all about this traversal now i have written uh, about topological sorts uh, it's not that important but yeah i have just written two three lines about the topological topological sort that how it works and all and the time taken next i have come to this minimum spanning t problem so here also i have written about both prims algorithm and kruskal algorithm uh, a brief detail about both of them greedy approaches their time how much time they're taking and in some cases we have to use heap so if, if you are using heap what is what is that uh, time complexity all i have written here in this uh, half page of space that is that is uh, there in my in my notebook then finally i have gone to shortest path algorithm so shortest path algorithm first, first i have i have covered uh, dijkstra algorithm and i have just written uh, two lines for here on this greedy algorithm it is their time complexity and the order are disadvantages of this particular algorithm that i have written here and finally uh, this belvin flow single sort of algorithm again i have written about a brief about it and uh, its time complexity and all everything i have written and as you know that if if there is a cycle it will detect it so um, about that also i have written two lines so this is our single source shortest part and there is this all pair shortest path problem uh, and floyd orsel floyd orsel algorithm is uh, for this one so for that also i have written half of the space of the pages yeah and then finally there are some some points that i have written here and there, there is this strong st strongly connected component how how we'll find it using dfs so that will also written there so this is how within these four pages i have covered whole graph algorithms and as you can find who are from computer science background that these are the things that you need to revise when you, you want to revise graph algorithms that how it is represented what are the traversal algorithm minimal shortest uh, short uh, mst problem that is minimal spanning t problem and finally the shortest shortest uh, single source or all pair shortest path problem so that i have written in this four pages and i have written the important points what are uh, brief about each algorithm then it's uh, it's time complexity and if there anything anything that you need to remember uh, that also i pointed there so this is how you have to prepare the short notes which will contain all the important important points on of that particular topic yeah so that is about short notes i hope from the demonstration that i've given you will get to know about a rough idea how your short notes should look like and i would suggest that you shouldn't copy exactly that what i have done uh, you should make your short note by your own and you should decide that what the point you should include in a short note and what you shouldn't i will suggest you first make a basic copy like two three pages of basic points i will write it down and then keep on modifying it whatever the important points you will find for a particular topic please keep on adding into your short note so that you know every time you will be revising it you will get to know about this new new points and that will be really helpful so that's it guys that's it about today's video i hope you like the video and if you like it please like the button uh, hit the like button and share this video with many people so that they also get to know about it and hopefully this video will be helpful for all the students across the across the stream and if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly that's it guys that's it about today's video i'll be meeting in the next video until then bye